Hi everyone, my name is Rajasekhar. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be exploring a tool called Composure, using which you'll be able to key out your green screen and composite it against any virtual uh, set in Unreal Engine. Welcome to the basic series of virtual production. Let's get started. Before we dive in, let's take a quick look at my computer setup. So this is my computer. I have a generic capture card which is running uh, to my DSLR through HDMI cable. And I have two lights, one in the front and the rear, both are fluorescent lights and a green screen behind me. I'm using Unreal Engine 5.1. I'll be demonstrating using this subway train map. Before we begin, we need to make sure whether Composure plugin is enabled. To do that, go to Edit, Plugins, in this type Composure and make sure it's having a tick mark. If there is no tick mark, put a tick mark and then restart your engine. Once your Unreal Engine is restarted and ready, click on Window, Virtual Production, Composure, Compositing. So the Composure Compositing window is up. This is similar to an After Effects or a Premiere or any uh, layer based work which you might have done before. So we are going to create a foreground and a background element here. We will begin by creating a comp, right click and create new comp. Choose empty comp shot. You can either give a name or leave it as it is. Right click and click on add layer element. Click on media plate. Expand the menu. So media plate is going to be layer which will contain your camera feed. And before we add the second layer, at this point of time, I would recommend you to add the camera. So go to place actor, cine camera actor, drag and drop it. And to see the camera, press G, reposition the camera as required. So I'll just keep it here for now. We'll modify it later. In the comp, right click and click on add layer element and choose CG layer. So when you add a CG element, it encloses the camera, which means the camera, the background is attached to the virtual camera, which we just added. As you can see, the CG layer is attached to the virtual camera, which we created just now. With the foreground and background element in place, let's connect our camera to the Unreal Engine. To do that, open content browser and on any folder, right click, go to media and choose media player. Put a tick mark on video output media texture asset and give OK. Give a name for your media player. In my case, I'm going to choose Nikon feed. Double click on the player. The first time when you open the player, it will be blank because we haven't connected anything yet. And at this point of time, make sure your camera is turned on and connected to the computer. To select your camera, click on this drop down, go to video. Choose your camera. In my case, the camera name is USB video. The moment you select your camera, if you see a color bar on the screen, it means either your camera is not ready or it's in standby mode. So let me check what could be the reason in my case. So in my case, the camera was in standby mode and it's fine now. So with this, hit the save button. Do not close this window. This will be the source for your media plate. So always have this window minimized for your composite to work. Let's proceed to key out the green screen. To do that, click on media plate, click on details tab, open your content browser, drag and drop your video from the content browser into the media source. So now, the moment you do that, the preview of your camera feed is active in the bottom right corner. You are telling Unreal Engine that this is your camera source. To key out the green screen, look below and look for chroma keying under transform passes. Below chroma keying, you would notice a word called key colors and to the right of it, click on that plus symbol. It adds an index, click on plus again. And now choose the green color which you want to key out. Hit accept. Majority of the green screen has been keyed out, but you can notice a small patch of green on my right corner. To fix that, next to the key colors, press on the plus one more time. You have one more index, click on plus and choose the green. Click accept. Now you can notice the screen is keyed out completely. You can also maximize this window. You can have a look at the alpha channel of your key. That's about the tool. You can still refine the edges and still we have some spill on the hands and on the sides of the face. Still there are a lot, lot more to fix this uh, keying. But we'll stop with this for now. We'll focus more on the composite. We have a foreground element keyed out and ready. And we also have the background plate. 
but when you click on the overall composition it's empty because we need a material which will combine both these elements so to create that material with that comp selected go to details all the way at the top look for transform passes click on the plus symbol next to it expand this transform pass next to material click on this drop down arrow create new asset material we are going to create a new material so we'll give the name as mat neo any name of your choice double click on the sphere to open the material editor the material editor is up now in this window the very first action would be to change your material domain from surface to post process so we'll be creating two nodes one for the foreground one for the background to create any node right click anywhere on the grid and type 2d we're going to create a node called texture sample parameter 2d you can either pick this one or other one which is below parameter both will work so let's pick on this one and the moment you pick your node if you happen to see your own preview here camera preview this might not work in my experience I've tried this let's proceed with the flow and uh, I'll tell you why this this won't work with that selected we'll make one more copy of it we'll create one more node right click and search for over choose over under composure so this over tool is going to combine both these so here's my first input RGBA goes to A and this goes to B and my output from this over node goes to emissive color so that's about the connection and we also need to make sure this has the same naming convention as an outliner keep this aside and copy this name of the foreground layer paste it here copy the background name you can either paste it here or here either way is fine so we have merged both these elements using over and it's going to emissive color so let's save the progress and let's close this out do not close this window this should be minimized now to check whether it worked we need to click on comp but you can see it's a white image instead of our composite this happens uh, to me uh, for the first time so to fix that we'll have to recreate the materials so one more time go to content browser delete the material which you created now force delete and go to details tab of this comp and remove the material pass let's create from the scratch so next to transform passes click on the plus symbol material pull down menu choose material and give a name we'll call it mat v2 save double click on the sphere and now we are back on the same material editor window change the material domain from surface to post process now right click look for 2d and let's pick the same texture sample parameter 2d and now if you see you have a green blobby like texture only when you have this it works I don't know why it happens possibly you know I'll get the answer uh, later and I'll uh, keep you all posted only when you see a blobby like uh, texture on this texture sample node your uh, compost will work so let's make one more copy of it and let's bring in an over node search for over bring it here now let's make sure both these share the same name as an outliner so this is your foreground element and this is your background okay that's done let's connect RGBA A to A and RGBA A to B and this RGBA goes to emissive color okay so that's done hit on the save button the material is created let's close out this window and let's have this minimized now if you can see background plate foreground and if you want to see the composite click on the comp there you go it's done now to see a bigger version of this right click and choose preview so remember this uh, material uh, workaround for now for the first time when you create it won't work so delete it off and then recreate it it works let's keep this window aside now our composite is done but we need to position our camera so that you know it gives an impression as if I'm sitting on the screen we can still find there are green uh, jitters on the corner uh, let's take care of that 
let's get inside media plate uh, I'll fix that by dropping the alpha bias a bit so that took care of the left and right green line let's close it out let's right click on this comp and choose preview for a bigger image let's keep this aside so this is our virtual camera you might notice there might be one more uh, camera like this when the moment you create composure but when you move this nothing will happen so you need to move only this one the one which you created to select your camera click on the viewfinder and then adjust the camera now I'm going to place in such a way I see a bit of foreground element and uh, I'm sitting on a chair the chair is too big for me so let's uh, adjust the uh, focal length of the camera you can go to camera setting and uh, let's change the uh, focal length to 20 I think they should be fine that uh, looks somewhat better it gives an impression uh, as if I'm sitting on the chair okay now you can add any uh, 3d element behind you you can uh, add a 3d character an effect anything of your choice so let me try to show you I'll try to add a um, sphere element So you can notice I have a sphere element behind me and you can move around and place it and also effects for that matter. So because of my room limitation I am uh, choosing to shoot by sitting on a chair and trying to compose something like this. You can try to shoot a wide shot, pick any virtual set of your choice and plan your shot accordingly. So that's about this video everyone, a small demonstration on how to use this composure tool and how to key out the green screen and use it against any virtual set in Unreal Engine. We'll keep exploring more advanced concepts of virtual production in the future sessions. Do subscribe to the channel, do share it to your friends and family who would be interested to learn basics of DMX lighting and a bit of virtual production which I've started. See you all soon on another video. I'm Raj Shekhar. Bye. Take care.